Hello, y'all, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Okay, we on the messy, 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 messy plane. Okay, we're going straight right on into it because I don't know what the he hell happened. Okay, I'm talking to Carter B, and I'm going to have my special guest on Bertha to help me out. All right, what the hell, uh, yo, yo, I don't even know what to call it. Let's just call your sister for the play, for the play, play. Okay, she being messy. You wearing your, um, scarf, she wearing her scarf. You looking at her make a fool out of herself. She drinking wine. Talking to the winos. Looking upset. They said she was looking like that. Her facial expression when she was in court. But guess who came out victorious? Victorious. Vic, 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 Victorious. Yes, the lovely Cardi B. Loving that salt and pepper gray hair, girl. But we know you be throwing them wigs, them them extensions, everything. Just be looking flawless on you. And evidently... I don't know who name, cause I thought uh, I do watch a YouTuber sometimes by the name of. Yes, let me just go into that right now. <laughs> girl, girl, what the hell was she going? Where was she going with her speech she gave to the winos and anybody that would listen on her? Uh, YouTube station saying it ain't over it ain't over we gonna appeal even if we had to take it to the Supreme Court I'm like Lord Tasha was up there acting like she was running for office like she was giving her inauguration speech like she don't push Kamala Harris all the way out the picture she's running for president she's telling you about what we all been knowing about the machine and it's just sad because it's like you talking about the machine and how detrimental it is and how you're gonna stamp out crime you're gonna stamp out prostitution um you're gonna step out stamp out the machine now look he tried to do some shit like that and look where he at okay he's been banned from social media from all the wayward stuff he was saying this man i call him orange grandpa that's why i call him because i couldn't take him serious i really could because you know People voted him up there, and you best believe it was some black folks, Republicans out there voting him up there just because they want to keep their tax bracket, and they don't want to pay taxes, okay? But I'm like, you use up there talking to Bernie Sanders, you out there for the Democratic Party, I'm guessing, but I think just because you was talking to him, you may have wanted to go that way, and you had to ask them tough questions. But yeah, honey, look at her throwing up them signs. And y'all going to be watching some checkerboards and duality and yin and yang and all that stuff. But like I said, all of my conspiracy theories with Pete Gang. But hey, I dropped little tidbits here and there. But we talking about Miss Bertha. Miss Bertha's going to ride this plane with me. So lock up, sit back, and climb the altitude with us. Because it's going to be a show. Thank you, Candy, <laughs> for letting me bother Aunt Bertha. Because can't nobody do it like Aunt Bertha. Okay, yes, Candy, thank you for bringing your aunt to the platform where she don't take no shit. She ain't for the uh, bullshit. She be like, I the damn is this going to happen on my watch. And I'm right there with her. I'm right there co-signing, giving her dap hugs and everything else. Because I'm going to tell you, to my opinion, she got three things she's going to come after you for. She's going to definitely try to take it. And her, her husband... He sat up there in court from what I hear on them streets. He was saying he didn't know what his wife was doing. He is only the CEO of the company, CFO or whatever. He don't know. He couldn't He couldn't tame her. And me and Aunt Bert are saying bullshit. You came up with the bullshit. You brought us a bullshit. And it wasn't nothing but a scheme, a setup. Thinking you going to get out of it. But the jurors, they were white up in there. They went all black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they called bullshit. All right, some, similar to what uh, Todd be talking bullshit and Candy had to get him in check sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because she's like, don't come for her family. Don't come for her family. And that's pretty much, yes, Aunt Bertha, it was just too much. Miss, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Latasha Transrena Kibi? I'm like, girl, you should have been mad at your mom and filing lawsuits against her for calling you that, ooh, strange, yet ugly name, okay? But you thought you was having your inauguration speech up there, Miss Kibi, Miss Tasha Kay. I'm like, damn, you going to 
try to replace the one who's been already calling herself solidified for the position. She's just waiting for uh, President Biden to croak over. <laughs> and sometimes how he look at how he be talking and how he be going to sleep. And he be missing them cue cards and that monitor up there just saying whatever he want to say. Child, it might not be too long. <laughs> Well, we can call him incompetent. He can't make any more decisions. He needs to go on. Because me and Bertha, we here for the bullshit from him. The inauguration that's up there doing what they need to be doing. Especially with the vaccines. Saying, you know, that they want to mandate it here and there. And then those people walked off their job. Because they're like, uh-uh, we ain't here for the bullshit. We ain't here for all those chemicals going in our body. Are you crazy? So they took their little happy mirror asses on out the door. Proving and showing, showing and proving, okay? Like, they know who they are. They know who they lord are. His, their lord is, and they, he's going to be protected, okay? Because it's just too much. It's too much. Get the shot, not get the shot. Get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. Don't get the vaccine, you won't have a job. What? And that's what I be damned. <laughs> Me and Miss Bertha said, we ain't going to be in this shit. Then we got Miss Kiba running around him, trying to call uh, Carter be out for doing all these salacious, sexy poses and stuff, calling her, you know, more than like a little prostitute or a person that's a stripper, you know, not glorifying what a woman should be doing out here. But I'm like, hell, you ain't have the same uh, traffic and non degrading stuff for uh, her co partner in that video, Meg the Stallion. You're trying to be bold and outspoken on Carter B. Okay, and Carter B. I don't told you what she did in the past. She ain't ashamed of it. She had to do what she had to do to live. Okay, and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But she's over there telling her winos and whoever else would listen to her platform. Because I ain't lying, my daughter was listening to us. Ooh, what is she saying over there? And she's talking like she's a presidential candidate. I said, no, we don't want you, Tosh. We don't want you. I'm sure they don't want you in the Republican Party. They don't want you in the Liberal Party. They don't want you in the Conservative Party. And we damn sure don't want you over here in the De uh, Democrat Party. Okay? We don't want you, girl. I was like, who was serving and pu uh, serving and proving and showcasing, giving us face, body, accessories, and the outfits was on the bomb. And I don't know what the hell Tasha K was looking like. She looked like maternity wear or just just too through, played out and through. Okay. Yep, it's gonna be more lawsuits. But um, technically, uh, Tasha K says she going, she's gonna um defend her honor. She's gonna appeal. I don't know if she's going to have the same attorneys. I wouldn't. <laughs> but then again, Tasha, you weren't saying that then. You, from what I hear, you was not giving all the smoke. You wasn't up there saying all these boisterous things, all these degrading things. You want, I mean, the judge was serving you up. Uh, Carter B. Lloyd was serving you up. They were just baiting you, just waiting for you to come into that uh, stage where they wanted the spotlight on you. And when they showed it, girl, you looked it like Boo Boo the Clown. Okay, Boo Boo the Clown. You wasn't doing nothing. You was acting like you were all disoriented, I believe. I don't know why I put that in there. But I guess it was just calling racism, I guess. It's almost like um, Tasha K is so obsessed. And, and, and I don't know, want to be racist to light-skinned folks. Or allegedly, she wants to be racist against the whole, how she call it, the machine. She want to be an activist now. She want to take down the music industry. And anything as far as entertainment. I'm like girl. If you take on down all of that. Then tell me. Where are you going to be as far as your entertainment on your YouTube uh, channel. If there's nothing uh, out there to talk about. Or people to be out there doing what they need to do. On what a career choice they feel. Whether they're in the film industry. Or whether they're in the music industry. You know if their talents take them there. Okay they know the game they have to play. It ain't no hidden secret up there. They give them a full playbook of how things go. And if you decide you want to be in that arena and you start doing some strange things with some change, just like you. You said you were doing it for entertainment in the court. That's what my favorite friend, my fellow YouTuber, uh, Tisa Tales and, and um, uh, Red Stick, uh, the Red Stick Hustler Lily. And she was down there getting it blow by blow, play by play, and just spilling it all. Shout out to Lily. The red lipstick hustler. And of course Tisa Tails. Alright. And <laughs> you can see Tasha K right now. <laughs> she thinks she winning Lord. This was before the indictment <laughs> came. And the jury had sided with Carla B. She thought she was catching that one hand movement. And had a man on the other hand. <laughs> like girl. Didn't your husband get up down the stage and say. 
He was having no dealings with you. He tried to tell you to don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> like, did y'all go home and have a big fight that night? I know you got to show and prove in the public. You got to act like you're a unified front. But damn. <laughs> he would have been living downstairs or in an apartment or a hotel before <laughs> you know what i'm saying we have to think about you know our family later on because if i go down you go down you go down i go down that's the unified thing but he was like uh-uh i ain't gonna let them take the company so we're gonna try to hide this you gonna take the fall they won't get kiwi studios money or anything i'll try to comfort that because you know i'm gonna say you know they may get some of the money but they gonna get all of it and I'm like, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, what an ego, what an ego, what an ego. But yes, Miss Tasha K is on her platform today, acting like she was running for the president, the re running for the presidency, and trying to dog out Cardi B and her ways of making a living and her past indiscretions, trying to bring them to the forefront again. But I'm like, though, whoever, or how it says, anyone without seeing Cassie first song. <laughs> I'm like, girl, they would have been tearing you up on them stone blocks, girl. They had you out there, Kibi. They would have been, ooh, girl, it's too much, right? Right, Uncle Bertha? It's too much, too much. And I'd be damned if we're going to let Cardi B go out like that. No, Cardi B, we ain't coming with the bullshit. We don't want you to be having any more bullshit. But we need you to tell your lawyers. I believe within 30 days, and it's just my opinion, I'm just speaking off the top of my head. But it's just this gut feeling I get. Tasha K is going to act like she's mentally disturbed. She might even have a breakdown. And she might even have to say all the pressure from the case and losing. It just threw her in a tailspin. Because people were coming after her. They were telling her she was this terrible person. I'm, I'm, I'm spilling the tea. I'll be damned. She ain't going to be able to win on that front either. But we're just saying what we speculate. Tasha K may try to prove. She might even go and rehab. Hell, she's drinking. She might hit better for it. <laughs> We already got Wendy Williams up there. Who she and I really think Tasha K thought she was Wendy Williams. I'm like Wendy Williams put some time. We talking about thirty plus years worth of damaging commentary, talking about celebrities, uh, being around celebrities, and then I'm sure her friends didn't think she was gonna go back and parlay it into a story or whatnot. But this is what she did. Okay, so. Even though Tasha K may be in this world where she thinks she's winning still, she's still losing money. And when you're a top dog, you don't want to lose any money. You don't want to even lose a dollar, okay? You want to know where that dollar went or who had it and why they felt they needed to take it from you. But I do believe that's one place she's going to make. She's going to make like she's insane. She's not stable for court. And her, her new attorneys, hopefully, will try to plea a deal where she wasn't well when the uh, judgment was made against her during the first win. And she's going to be like, no, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was saying. This, that, and that. I was confused. Uh, I was manipulated by my own attorneys. And they didn't prepare me. And, you know, she's going to, you know. Like I said, look for Betty Ford. Look for a, a possible breakdown. And uh, she's going to make like she wasn't really fit to be sitting on that trial where Carter B. won the first fight. Because she sat up there and said, child, all the stuff. I'm like, how can you blame one person when this machine you keep talking about is developing and pushing out more and more people that want to be in the music industry? They're showing their body. Sex sales it's a man dominated world okay they want you to look a certain way they want you to be able to portray it a certain way and if they can they want to take your childhood from you and quiet as it's kept loud as i'm gonna speak it out they want to turn you into a sex kid they want you dressed up shaped up um effed up to try to look like a child even though you're a grown woman and have very nice features but they want to play that fantasy and that's all Hollywood is about and of course Taylor Swift is not uh, above criticism as well she has done it she does it uh, all the people that's Christina Agu Aguilera I think and she's be sexy and showing everything not leaving anything to imagination we know Britney Spears um has definitely got out of her conservatorship with her dad but i don't know if that was the best thing to do because at least she was saving money and you know a lot of the things that i was hearing weren't were not right but she don't know how to keep money and, you know beyonce look at that okay i wonder why they always dress in black as well and it's not the slimming part that i'm talking about uh it's paying homage to some deity 
But like I said, and this kind of looked like a uvula of a woman's vagina. Why would uh, uh, Chloe be in something like that? I'm sure y'all seen her video where uh, she performed at one of the award show. And it seemed like she had a tampon stuck up her butt and it come out. I'm like, woo hoo 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 And I always have symbolism with that red and fire in the back. You know, like destruction. Uh, some type of uh, destruction is going to come. Uh, and unleashing something and you know it just is what it is but okay watch why, why um Tasha K didn't do no stories on Meg Thee Stallion Meg Thee Stallion plays the role too she plays like she's a sex kitty why did she go after Britney Spears Britney Spears dressed really racy in some of her concert shows and some of her videos okay not to mention CeeLo Green where he get down and do uh, Nicki Minaj she's definitely a part of the industry and she dressed very exotic as well why she didn't go after them okay it's a lot of things in those music videos that be um teaching and telling stories for those who want to see and those who want to hear okay look at little kim shall i proceed yes indeed hell yes kim kim make the style look at them devil horns okay that one eye symbolism beyonce giving girl all in the industry, but you didn't go out the Cardi B. I mean, not Cardi B. Uh, Tasha K didn't go out the Beyonce did she? <laughs> she didn't go out the Nicki Minaj did she? She didn't go out the Meg the Stallion. She didn't go out the Little Kim. Okay, and they showcase nothing but ass, trying to be trashy up there to get that money, cause that's what the machine is doing. And uh, Tasha K is so naive. Um, Cardi B is not the machine. She may be a part of the machine. And how I look at it. Them devil horns again. All that red symbolism. Okay. But anyway. Maybe Carla B was trying to not do something. That the elites wanted her to do. And maybe they sat out there. And looked for the grossest. Uh, dehumanizing type of individual. In social media. That had a platform. That could definitely tell stories. That weren't true about Carla B. And freshen out there. Tasha K's been out there for 11 years and she's been definitely been creating a very storm, uh, a very vicious storm on her platform. And who's to say somebody didn't um, get in her ear and say, you know, this woman, and see, I didn't like that either. The cross and looking all nasty. And then you got, see, uh, Michael Jackson throwing up them devil horns too. Look at his hands movement. He's sitting up there grabbing his crotch all the time. Yes, he was a part of the industry, and I think he tried to renounce it uh, before he got, you know, ill and stuff. But, hey, once you sell that soul, it's it. Look at Lizzo. I mean, yeah, do we have to be all like that, Lizzo? But, hey, you got the big women out there trying to show their assets, okay? They don't want to uh, have nothing uh, left to, from their imagination. And, actually, that's an Illuminati type of uh, stance that Britney was doing. Check it out. Uh, so a lot of books on there. And uh, that's not that's not cute. She didn't go out to Britney Spears. She didn't go out to Madonna. She didn't go out to Krista Aguilera. And they all shared a kiss at the end of that award show. And I ain't talking about like a kiss on the cheek or a kiss on the lips real quick. They were tonguing up there. So what kind of agenda was they pushing? What, what kind of agenda was they pushing? But shall we proceed, Lil' Kim? Yes, indeed. She didn't get on Lil' Kim. And Kim is the most, I think Kim is the most iconic one that started this look. This, um, for in the black race anyway of all uh, music entertainers she was the first one coming out there uh-huh and even though beyonce tried to keep it classy it's still trashy looking you know what i'm saying i mean that's something you want to dress for your mate on valentine's day okay but then valentine's day was a real bad holiday too they were sacrificing and killing a lot of folks do your history on valentine's day but yeah um michael jackson he wanted he wanted his uh his albums or his rights to his music catalog and they didn't like that mm -mm, they didn't like that and of course you know he met with his demise um later i mean sooner rather than later okay but yes that's a beyonce you know in a video she was getting married i think it's the best thing i never had or something like that <coughs> the video was titled but hey ain't that sexy ain't that selling sex okay but she didn't come out there um uh, Beyonce with all this sex trafficking prostitute glorifying the industry and the sexism you know uh, putting it all on Carter B's back like she's supposed to be the poster child and um, Mother Teresa of telling people not to do this not to do that not to show this not to show that 
be you know a good standing citizen even janet jackson has her time she wanted to show a little breast y'all remember that thing with um justin timberlake that malfunction hell that wasn't no malfunction that was just a, a ritual i believe being done on her to humiliate her and whatever maybe she didn't want to do something that at least wanted her to do i'm telling you these people that fall from grace and they start getting in trouble at the time it's because they didn't want to do something they don't want to make a sacrifice they don't you know i'm just telling y'all y'all can believe me or not but why do all these actors wear this um checkerboard um you no know, type of symbolization why do they show uh themselves as sex kittens or sex objects okay it's basically you know i mean uh Tasha Carey talking about being prejudiced and stuff and i don't know if y'all remember this they were robbing thick and she, you see how carter was dressed up like a child her whole stage was made up of kitty stuff if y'all know anything about pizza gate look it up <laughs> look it up okay this is all for my conspiracy theories and that was just a nasty scene that's again that duality and, and the child uh looking stage of facial presentation and then she's up there doing all that gross raunching like she was in sick in the bed with him and at the time he was married he was separated but i was like oh my goodness and you know okay you know britain smear kind of looked the cross and all that stuff mm -mm. and then tasha k was trying to put dirt and salt on r kelly now who's to say he did all of it it might be a wayne williams situation but back in the day in the 80s when they were having all these kids being killed uh, and they try to put all these acts of uh, violence and, and, and killings on Wayne Williams. I'm like, no. Nah. People say it. Some people say it with the Ku Klux Klan. Some people say it. You know, it was other hate organizations. But either way, one person ain't going to do a whole lot of dirt. Okay? One person, they're going to have somebody they told and some accomplice with them. But like I said, um, when Tasha K was, you know, doing some stories on him and this, that, and third. But, uh, you know, she, you didn't come after him like you've been so much on car to be like you trying to put all this stuff she the machine she the, she the problem she the issue we can't raise our kids because we got people like carter b out here doing this and doing that you know just destroying our world destroying motherhood i'm like ah before there was a carter spears there was i mean before there was a carter b there was a britney spears before there was a carter b there was a little kim before there was a carter b they were uh, foxy brown you know what i'm saying before there was a little kim you know you can go it's maya the artist maya um, then it was Christy Aguilera. See, that there's too much cheeks in the back showing. That ain't nothing but sex. Even if it ain't nothing but hard rock sex. Then you want to get on Cardi B. And that's another symbol y'all should look at. The cross and other hands. But, you know, it's just here what it is. Everybody know those most higher uh, played people up there in the industry. They got to do a lot of shit to be uh, able to afford. To be able to look at as somebody to idolize. And this, that, and third you know <laughs> and look at that what they don't did to the baby okay look what they don't did to the baby okay that's chloe from the little twins uh chloe and Ho hallie uh, uh hallie uh-huh they was in um what is it not black and grownish they had a little show and those are uh, actually beyonce's protege she's working with developing uh so she can sit down and make money off of them but oh yeah honey that whole um video she was doing as well as um um video award show she was doing child please one name but a ritual one name but a ritual uh of her coming out as her dying uh from the old i mean from the good old girl or the um baby girl or the little girl to something else deadly and dangerous and not good <laughs> okay oh they killed the good in her now they're making her nothing but bad and i'll be damn if we're gonna let cardi b go out or be um saying she's um bad for kids like she's a degenerate like she's supposed to take the whole world on her hands and and, and be the role model for everybody's children now that's what their parents are for that's what they family members are for. You don't go out here, sit up here and call yourself idolizing a, 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 a celebrity or a reality star. Thinking they're going to teach your kids what you need to be teaching them at home. No, they got their own kids to be worried about. Okay? And they got their kids to be worried about what their friends are going to say about their parents acting up in society. Okay? So that's too much to put on a celebrity. Put it back on the parents. That's where the shit needs to stay and lie. Okay, but Cardi B is out there looking, serving a space fashion and fun. She's being happy over there. <laughs> wow. I don't know what she's doing over there to the right. But I like Cardi B. Tell your uh, lawyers to keep up the good work. Keep their heads down uh, in the paperwork and the law books. Because um, Cardi B, I mean, um, Tasha K ain't going nowhere. She's going to 
she don't see what she's doing and that's a sad part that's why i think this mental illness is going to pay a part of her not being sane uh in the court how look how going to be serving that's rich folks serving right now that's rich for wealth old money new money and creating money <laughs> oh wealth for the legacy of her children okay you got to get it while it gets good and if that's her profile she wants to be in the industry she wants to be in at least she doing it and she doing it well and fashion is serving all over her okay um definitely you can look at the hand sign there um she's just probably listening to and that's one thing about it you got to listen to your lawyers you're paying them real well top of the cream of the crop of the money you want it to come out as a winner because you don't pay out your ass to have these attorneys do what they do and do it well so i think she has the best legal team uh, she definitely had put it out there on social media uh, who were her lawyers and i guess anybody else getting a little tight uh you might want to look them up but i'm pretty sure they're going to be very expensive unless they do pro bono work on the sliding scale fee because they're slow at the time but if they're dealing with celebrities you know celebrities always can in shit questionable situations um such as tasha k <laughs> questionable situations all right um but i still hear that she hasn't got her blue blue uh check that she's you know a verified person i don't know if that's true or not but that's just what i heard but i'm like um yeah carter b was thanking her fans who had come out uh youtubers that had to come out shout out to uh, red lip hustler lily uh she was down there giving her 411 going on tisa tales's show uh they were both our youtubers um look up the red lip hustler lily on youtube and you'll find her go and watch her show go over there and watch tisa tales she be she just like another tasha k but yet she says allegedly on her show she says this is what her source told her she don't come out and say no nah, this is what happened this is well uh, who told me oh she probably just said no she ain't gonna reveal her sources but you know tasha k comes out with this is the truth this is the truth this is the truth and if her winos don't understand you know this shit was proven that no it wasn't the truth and that's why she's paying all these punitive damages that's in the fulton county courthouse filed as a win for carter b okay not tasha k but tasha k in her little mind she's going to take all her money which is dumb, dumb as hell she says she's going to fight it to the bitter end she don't care how much time it is or uh, how many years it takes how much money she has to put in it and to me that's not a rationalized person okay that's just a obsessive, uh, obsessive person that wants to prove a point no matter what and if it was just her do what you got to do but you have two children you have a husband and you might be taking care of other people in your family i don't know uh not my business but you run up here giving us an inauguration speech of what you're going to do you're going to shut down the machine you're going to uh fight corporate because you know corporate is basically um putting up with some of this stuff uh with the trafficking and the process and you know glorifying sex and you know she's gonna cut out the music industry uh stop exploiting these children and uh this just degradation and dehumiliating the kids and we just gotta stop uh porsche i mean um well we might need to stop porsche williams too <laughs> but she's gonna stop uh nick i'm um, not nikki but a cardi b and, and she thinks she's a part of a problem and then she goes on to talk about gang violence and senseless shooting and people uh having arms that don't need to have them you no know, bearing arms and stuff but i'm like damn didn't call it be uh somebody had said you couldn't have your arms and they was trying to take them from you because you were kind of allegedly threatening you know call it be in her family as well i'm like girl and you you need to be worried about paying that four million dollars is what you, you need to be worried about and then drop this lawsuit i don't know who is not telling you who's not really on your side i don't understand why the winos are not saying baby just stop it okay we don't want to lose you and we don't want you to lose yourself in this battle of being right because that's what it seems like to me you know you're acting like a child you want to be right and you're going to prove yourself until the bitter end you can't fight the industry this is a satanic world in a sense that we live in right now nobody well i ain't gonna say everybody but the sense and the uh optics as well as the feeling of the environment i don't care where you are uh in the world it seems like people are just senseless they do things because they want to do it they feel good about it and maybe they're on a, a extremely 
a high for you know from substance abuses or whatnot or maybe they mentally ill and it's like they all get a good card to go out there and do senseless violence okay but you can't blame the people that are mentally disturbed you know what I'm saying? But the ones that's on uh, even kill that just want to do it because they just want to do it. Just a simple-minded evilness. Then they're going to go out there and do it. That's why we have so much crime. Okay? It ain't because of Cardi B dressing a certain way or she's doing a certain thing. Now, you got to look at the bigger picture. Okay? Who's really behind this? Cardi B don't have that kind of funding. She don't have that kind of money. Okay? Who really runs the world? The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. And it damn sure ain't Carter B. Okay? She's a little pawn in the fish of this big old sea out here. Okay? And it's mostly being ran by the elites, the aristocrats. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay? They like to play games with human lives. All right? But uh, Carter B says she's going to take it to the court. <laughs> and then I'm um, birthed say, hell to the no, no, no. Yep, she says she um she was disrespected, she was dishonored, she just feel like the whole situation with the Carter B situation was a payout, you know, and to destroy her as a human being, as a mother, as an entrepreneur, just trying to take her life. And I'm like, wait a minute, are we flipping the script? Hold on, hold on. I, I, from my understanding, Mrs. Madam President want to be uh, Carter B. I'm not Carter B, I'm sorry. Uh, Tasha Transricia, Trans, Transrena. Kiwi, you started this shit. What part are you not understanding in that brain of yours up there? And I'm surprised the winos. I'm surprised the winos. The winos are not checking her. I mean, you can love a person, but when a person is downright spreading evil out there and they have no truth to the matter, I mean, even on my show, I say allegedly, and I just come and get my opinion or what I hear out there. Not one time that you say, hear me say, on the people that I'd be speaking on, uh, this will happen at this time. This will happen on this day, at this hour, at this location. And I have proof. <laughs> I can show you videos. I can show you the written letter. Hell, I can bring you the person that's actually telling me my source. Okay? This is where I'm getting it from. Okay? Or, you know, if you're not going on your own personal experience. Uh, your own personal experience that you dealt with that person and you are able to say well this is what ha i saw this is what i was involved with okay it's still my opinion but you can't disregard it you see what i'm saying uh it's not hearsay because you were actually with that person and they were giving you the tea okay and unless they told you don't don't look don't you go out there and tell nobody then it wouldn't be an infringement but you know second party you know information just hear what it is okay but that's the whole thing poor, um, uh, Tasha K is saying that <laughs> Carter B and someone bigger than her, meaning the machine that supports her and all her colleagues, uh, they just want a payday because they have been threatening her uh, to stop her show, to stop her freedom of speech, this, that, and the third, you know, and she just feels like she's been violated. So she's going to fight for her truth and that's you know what it's going to be but you know on the flip side Tasha K was saying she had all this evidence she had uh, proof but she couldn't prove it she failed to prove it in court and I'm surprised she she, she should be looking at she lied to her uh, constituents meaning her people that watch her her people that give her super chats her people that pays for her patreons and membership for all this stuff that's not true Okay, which one would you go by to tell the truth, <laughs> girl? Simple over there, a high class fashion to the left. You tell me, either one could tell the story, you know what I'm saying? It could be vice versa, but we know we have heard any one of us that have been on the platform. Uh, of other YouTubers and how they spin a narrative and how they bring out what they feel is the truth on a person that they're covering that they are covering at the time and we can all make our own opinions on Tasha K and uh, what she did and how she did it and where she's going with it and how it has transpired to bring her to this position where she's at now calling herself running for president because she's going to change the world okay she's going to take it all the way to the supreme court she said okay 
And then she go in and putting God in it and the gatekeepers and all this stuff. Like, girl, who wrote that speech? They need to have they, they behinds whooped too. They need to have, you know, some sense brought into them. They need some counseling too. Because, I mean, you were reading the speech that you know, we all know you did not prepare. Because <laughs> you kept reading. It wasn't like how I'm doing now. I'm freestyling. I'm just looking at my pictures and I'm just telling the story. Okay. But you were up there acting like you were a hundred years old you couldn't read the prompter you couldn't read the page i mean you want an eloquent speaker you went out there owning your stuff because when you have been done wrong you go out there and you present a case to the public and this we are the public and right now you're failing very miserably in the court of public opinion because you that speech you did tonight it was not believable it had no concern in it only thing it was like i i i i and i'm gonna get my revenge 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 not thinking about you need to put your daughter through college, your son through college. Hell, maybe you need to go to college, you know, and be a well-rounded individual where you have your life experiences, you have your um, educational experiences, and th th your platform of being entrepreneur experiences. And you can be a well-rounded individual where you can think rationally, logically, and, and reason with some, um, some tools and skills you've learned along the way. But I wonder what Storm is going to do. Because Jaguar Wright was, you know, she was trying to be friends with Tasha. But look how she did Jaguar Wright. And then her and her husband walking away like, we are going to catch that freedom train that Portia Williams talks about all the time. And we're leaving in the twilight zone. Because it's 165 days in Tasha world and not 365. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. You're going to be sitting up there with that ear going. He sat there and lied and said, he didn't know what you were doing, how you were doing it. He was just over there trying to run the business and this, that, and the third. And you still sleep with him, girl. You still sleep with that boy. Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. But you feel that the machine, Cardi B, all the people that support Cardi B and the machine, they're trying to bring you down. Uh, the machine is trying to bring you down, trying to make you feel, have suicidal tendencies. You, you're here now with one million viewers. You've been in the business 11 plus years. I mean, you definitely give us your damn resume. But still, we're trying to figure out why are you still treading water with this case? Okay, then you're going to talk about, but I applied. And then when Carter B was trying to talk to you and saying, look here, look here, honey. Who gave you this information on me? I'm not saying it's true and I'm not saying it's fake. But what I am saying, where did you get this information from? And why do you continue to want to slander me, defame me, and make me look so bad? Telling all these lies about my medical health, my medical conditions, and, you know, talking about me and my husband. And, and um... You know, for a fact, he slept with this, that, that third person or whatever. And, and, you know, why are you doing this to me? You no, know, she had that conversation with him. She said they talked. And she was telling her, you know, I, I really want you, I need you to pull them videos down. Because it's being very detrimental to my mental health and my business. Because I do do business other than making music videos and performing. I do have sponsors. And, you know, you're, you're taking money out of my pocket. Or money that's being threatened to be taken out of my pocket. If any of these allegations are shown to be true. Now, Tasha K, she, she, all things she starts, if I was Tasha K, I'm like, girl, thank you, I'm sorry, but look, these are the people that I talked with, and I was going by my sources, because that's what we do as vloggers, we research, we document, and then if we got a good spin on the story that it is pretty much 95% true, we're going to run it over here, but let me tell you, let me tell you, I can take them down, but can you um, pay me this X amount of dollars, and then you can go get these people straight that lied on you, but I'm going to need that payment, okay, I need it to be de uh, deposited in my bank, uh, here's my, my bank account number, because I trust, I don't think you're going to do with it and um yeah pay me for the price to take all my videos down and that's not bribery it's not just one hand washing the other you know car be trying to make it go away uh trying to keep her endorsements and stuff like that and tasha k still win just pull all those videos down and, and talk about somebody else like look him <laughs> Any other people that's in the industry that she feels is making a mockery out of society and teaching our kids to do the wrong thing, this, that, and the third, which I don't know why or how Tasha K can sit there and, and say that and, and, and she not crack up herself with a, 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 a large laugh because she's doing the same thing. You see what I'm saying? 
She's doing the same thing she's saying Cardi B is doing itself for sleeping around. But then again, I don't know about that either. Okay, but um, she goes around here and tell people business to the fullest. And she said, matter of factly, it is true. She don't put no allegedly in there. Uh, and you know she don't try to say well, this is a developing story don't know if it's true don't do like the news people do the local news uh people magazine they just say they pick up in interesting things on celebrities and they outright front would tell you we don't know if it's true or not uh but this is what is being reported we would definitely keep you up on any new breaks in the story we would keep following it closely and we would bring it to you whenever we know something concrete you don't have to go with that thing hell but see Cardi B uh, not Cardi B um Tasha K wants to be a part of the machine the same machine she is demeaning and trying to damage and say is no good but yet you still want to be a high profile YouTube YouTuber personality and you want to cover celebrity news you want to be Wendy Williams is what I see okay but I'm again uh you know as we look at it again and again let's look, take a long look at Wendy Williams life where she started in radio and she went to television and she got her own show and look how that has fared for her i'm pretty sure um you know she's in her own little personal hell trying to break out and we all should throw prayers to her because we never know what will happen uh when we do a lot of vicious things and say a lot of vicious things that are not necessarily true and then we don't put allegedly behind it you know what i'm saying we just go with it as the gospel truth and we don't try to do our due diligence when we're trying to be real researchers real um journalists um for a better word to say and and teach and, and have respect when you're putting out the news on a person you know what i'm saying because you never know what they may feel but like I said, when you write an autobiography and you put shit out and you be saying, well, you know, this is my life. This is what I do. But then when things go south, you're going to say, no, nah, this is for entertainment purposes. And this is not how I really act. But then, you know, some people that are close to you or know of you and they know your circle, they can have a different conversation about what you just said. So it, it's just it's, it's real. It's very, very real out there. But uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell Tasha K was talking about tonight. It gave me little chuckles here and there because I'm like, God damn, Tasha K trying to run for president now. She want to be the first woman president and she going to shut all of this no good stuff down. Uh, all the trafficking, all the prostitution, all the um, sex stuff with the kids. And, you know, I'm talking fast, but y'all know y'all get it. Y'all, if you get it, got it good, you know. But, you know, she's trying to make this perfect world, this perfect utopia, when we're not living in a perfect world. We're out there. People are doing what they want to do, what they want to say. And you can't do that. you got to have some ethics. you got to have some boundaries. you got to have some, uh, what do you call it, respect about yourself and the respect uh, respect that you're giving back towards the people you're talking about. Or even dealing with in life. You, you know, you, you don't want to go being, uh, you know, a person that's going to, be mean and nasty all the time and you ain't gonna attract nothing but mean and nasty people to follow you saying it's, it's no light it's just total darkness and that's what i really feel tosh k is being a part of the dark world so i'm saying you should line yourself right on up there with the industry honey but that ain't nothing but a dark satanic world the same world that you are actually trying to be in <coughs> because like you said you winning you can't go nowhere but up because you at the bottom I'm like uh-uh honey you you close to the bottom but you ain't at rock bottom you ain't got your house taken from you you ain't got your cars taken from you you ain't got your family taken excuse me from you you ain't got your business taken from you you still living pretty good so you ain't hit rock bottom baby you ain't at the bottom yet but you can be there you keep on treading this world with this water you dealing with and keep messing with these folks and keep knocking on their doors wanting them to respond to you girl woohoo but yeah that's what i see as i feel that would happen to um um carter b if she not carter b tosh case she keeps going on she's going to try to play a part where she is definitely in a mental ill state and she's going to play that up that she can't uh, possibly afford to have this because she's going to be allegedly at betty ford's clinic trying to get sober or or she's just going to go downright uh crazy she's going to be locked up uh what is called a 1013 against her own will to get uh, medical attention because she definitely needs it or she might goes 
<coughs> and say she might have a, a willing participant to come out because it may be a, a car to be hater or whatever and it might be an ex-friend that can testify uh but then you know are they willing to do that it's almost like being back in slavery are you really t ready to tell on the Ku Klux Klan are you ready to go and tell what you saw um someone being hurt because it may come back on you now the backlash may and we may can't protect you you know it could be a scenario like that and it could be a ritual like i said you know Carter B might be her handler i ain't you know this is what i'm putting out to y'all uh or was chosen to be her handler so she can be a part of the satanic world i mean i'm just saying look listen and learn all right look listen and learn and don't always go by what they show us because it's propaganda this is what they want you to believe and something major some catastrophe might be out there happening and we don't even know just like oh it came over him we so busy worried about this person that person putting out these salacious stories here and there the news telling us we got war over here we got war over there we got people you know not taking the vaccine we got this you know just so much going on and we as human beings are just getting tired and thumbed down with all the bullshit you know what i'm saying so while we sitting up here covering you know stories and getting into our lives and other people's lives and doing what we got to do some major could be happening over there you know what i'm saying something else could be coming on the horizon but we so focused on this that and the third and listening to cnn our um news stations local news stations telling us about all this shooting the crime the inflation the jobs loss you know you just get too much and you just want to get on somebody's platform where you can laugh a little bit you can chuckle you know uh here and there and you know try to live your life even though it's a false life you live in because you're in the entertainment world versus dealing with the mundane stuff you have to deal with on a daily basis okay because that's what i try to give on my channel uh you know some good feel things some things to think about some things on how to react to certain things certain people and you know i try to drop wisdom as well as i'm dropping laughter but you know it is what it is people gonna be who they are they're gonna say what they want that's never gonna change youtube is not gonna change people always be like asking me you know or or comment uh com commenting on some of my posts you know y'all better watch it y'all i say y'all sound like some house eagles out there you know what i'm saying we up there in the field trying to do what we got to do make it do what it do make it work or whatever some of us do it full time some of us do it part time some of us do it here and there but you got them house eagles up there come on i'm gonna go tell them also i'm gonna go tell them what you doing you you, you, so you put all this you're gonna get dead you know i like grow up okay grow up get your own platform shit go get a newscaster's job do a journalist and see what they have to go through to break that story knowing that it ain't halfway true but if they keep digging they might find some truth you see what i'm saying but i'm not a journalist i'm just one person that like come over here and run my mouth be with my youtube family we talk the shit we, we, we talk about you know uh anything we feel like we want to talk about we relay our opinions and we leave it at the door and we wait for the next uh video to talk about that's all it is okay get with it got it good but that's all guys i don't help y'all a whole longer than i wanted to do but i'm like dr k was just tripping me out and me and my sidekick on bertha had to come in and tell what we felt about it because i don't know why she's still trading world trading this world out here okay just throw some allegedness in but now people gonna still like her i mean she really does have a spin on how she does i don't like it that she does it with alcohol you know anything that's uh, of that nature because it's like you're promoting people to have you know take parts of the spirits and stuff and some people can't hold their liquor real well so i mean she did it with grape juice or coffee or something like that you know still a stimulant here and there still a depressant but at least it ain't gonna have you disoriented <laughs> you know what i mean it ain't gonna have you disoriented so thank you candy <coughs> for letting me use your auntie bertha okay on uh, my commentary to keep it light-hearted but yeah a lot of stuff is going on in the industry it ain't just started it was here before tasha got here it's gonna be here before ta uh, after tasha lead is her okay because it's satanic it's satan's world right now and he's trying to get as many many people to do ungodly things unspeakable things to themselves and to others uh so he can capture their soul that's just how i see it that's just how i believe it y'all so i think everybody need prayer in this situation carter b need prayer tasha k need prayer uh tasha k need prayer for her finances <coughs> 
uh, and anybody else is throwing salt on Cardi B and don't know the whole story, they need prayer. We all need prayer. Hell, I need prayer too. Okay, I need prayer. But I could just sit and look at different things and have a discernment about certain things. So, it just is what it is. Love you guys. Make sure y'all watch the video. Make sure you like as you're entering in the door. When you finish with me, you, you finish with yourself, you finish with the conversation, get all your stuff. Entering out the back door or you can go through the front door. It don't matter. Make sure you're sharing my videos and You're subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's all I ask. All of it's free. I just need your time for a little bit If you can't watch the whole 40 minute video <laughs> And my dad will be an hour one day just depending on how I'm going Take it in small doses watch me some in the morning catch it up in the afternoon finish me off in the evening okay you ain't got to sit there and sit the whole, whole thing unless i'm just cracking you the hell up and you just got to keep going like i'm a good book and you just got to keep reading and reading and reading to see what the end gonna be what the end's gonna be like <laughs> okay but that's all i got thank you i'm bertha for sharing this commentary with me i will get back with you tomorrow because i'm sure it's gonna be something else i need to talk about too okay but like it love you gotta have more hey subscribe to the channel like it and <laughs> definitely share my videos okay good night everybody i'm with your aunt bertha it's a scheme it's a setup it's a setup <laughs> and carter b need to watch out okay bye bye